All right, welcome to Falcon Blues TV. Everton two, Brighton three. He's got to go. Three points out of thirty-six. It's just not fucking good enough. I'm sorry. I'm in fact, I'm not even sorry. You know, the, I I I start. I I remember doing a video very 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 early on. Said I don't want him anywhere near this football club. The fact that he actually makes decisions turns my stomach. You know, he's actually made himself the near enough the second most powerful person in this football club at the moment and you know we, ju we just paid £17 million off for a left back there's no way he's getting sacked there's no way he's going anywhere it's just not good enough you know we, we just watched the game there we played five in the five at the back and two of them were so far out of position they may as well have been in the stands Seamus Coleman at left back Ben Godfrey at some sort of sweeper, come left back, come right back, come everything else. Just fucking what? We've had 17 days off and the best he can come up with is playing Seamus Coleman at left back. You are so, he, He's such a stubborn person. He's such an arrogant person that, you know, we've got a, a world-class left back sat on the bench and he didn't put him on. Didn't play him, mate. When you start, when your arrogance is over, you know, it, you, when your ego is bigger than the club, there's a problem. You can't, you cannot play just because your ego d dictates how you want to play play a side. Yeah, if you'd have put Luca Dean on, we, you know, we'd be so well have lost because we were that poor because the midfield was absolutely shocking as well. But at the same time, you're playing playing players in the positions that you're meant to play them. You're not playing an out of form coming coming of age Seamus Coleman, who's like you know his age is catching up to him now, and putting him at left back. Are you a fucking tit? Seriously. And you know you I'm I'm sure I'll get it all in the comments and stuff like this that I'm you know I'm either right or I'm wrong, but you know what I mean. I'm. I, I've been in that situation as well, but I've been played so far out of position. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'll I'll play to the best of my ability, which Seamus Coleman did. But when you've got a perfectly good, capable left back available, you play him instead. Why have we had to play the third choice right back at right back, and then the four, the the, you know, and then we're playing Holgate, and we played three centre halves. They did. This whole fucking Everton side today was just backward. It was just so not Everton that it was that it was so typically Everton. It, it was just we were watching the game and we went down we went down after three minutes from stupid fucking defending because no one knew where they needed to be in that back line. You know, and then we've got we've got players like Decore and Allen who are playing a defensive midfield. But then don't know whether to be that, that far up the pitch or this far back down the pitch. That there's no there's no explanation. And this fella's supposed to be the master ta tactician. You know, I think the only people who come out of with any kind of face is Damari Gray and Tony Gordon. Because they ran their bollocks off and no one else did. The fact that everyone disappeared at the end of the game down the tunnel and Tony Gordon's the only lad on the pitch says it all. These don't give a fuck about losing. There's players there who couldn't give two shits if we went down. But would the fans are going to have to fucking put up with it. Tony, Anthony Gordon's going to have to fucking put up with it because he's there. You know, Gray and, and um, Gordon are the only ones who stayed on the pitch and everyone else disappears. Says it all to me. There's no heart in this team. No one gave a toss. We went 2-0 down and no one really... Everyone's going, it was you, it was you, it was you. No one took any kind of fucking responsibility today. No one. Coleman's fucking screaming. Blue murder. After that second goal goes in. And it's like, well, you're playing left back, mate. Go and have a way with the fucking manager. And say, listen, not being funny. This isn't working. The simple thing to do is to push Mason Holgate into midfield and play a 4-4-2. Alright, push Ben Godfrey out to left back and then play it properly. Mason Holgate in that four 
and then you go, actually, this might work a little bit. I'll take Holgate off and I'll bring in Andre Gomez a little earlier on. Not at 87 minutes. And not the fact that Do- Dominic Carver loons absolutely fucking shagged at this point. That he brings on Rondon, who de- decides to go and fucking sit in the, f- in the family enclosure. Because he was that far away from Calvert Lewin for a striker. No you know, there was no central partnership in that in that striking striking two. You play in a four four two and he's disappeared somewhere. Oh, honestly, I mean you know, he's obviously gonna he's probably gonna go to Jim White this week, Machini, and go, No, Rafa Benitez had my full fucking my my full support. Mate, you've doubled down on this now. And if you fuck up and lose this club and, and lose the status in the Premier League, it's on you. Mate, no one at the moment gives a fuck about the stadium. Yeah, oh yeah, it's great. Okay, we're putting stuff... We're, you know, go and deal with that. There's a fucking football team here first. Never mind the stuff that's 20, you know, 20 minutes down the road. Deal with the stuff that's here. This is what needs to be dealt with now. You need to... The, the manager ha- the, the ma- there needs to be a manager change and I think Frank Lampard for me is that change you know we just watched we just watched Brighton there and you go well hang on Potter actually you know a lot of people were got a lot of people poo pooed the idea of, of uh, Graham Potter myself included and I probably hold my hands up to that but this was pre you know Ancelotti coming in and we look on the, at the at the team but Benitez was never my first choice Benitez wasn't even in, in, on my list. You know, he's on Paul's list. That's how fucking far gone it is. And, you know, so f- for me, it's got to be someone who can work with the director of football. Oh, wait, you've just got rid of him. Everton, you, you're doing this to yourself. You're shooting yourselves in the foot and you've you've done this to yourself. It, again, it's death by a thousand cuts. We had the same situation with Martinez where it was just coming to a point where, you know how far along down the line does it come before we actually get rid of him and you know the last two games because of, of COVID and whatever I probably kept him in, in place I think after Burnley and Newcastle it might be in some sort of change but he's now you know he's been given this sort this reprieve which isn't good enough you know 3-2 at home it's a bright when we were 2-0 down you know, uh, uh, yeah, we can look at we can look at the penalty and go, well, if he scores the penalty, it's probably a different game. It probably is, but at the same time, that's not that's not eradicating that choice of five in the back, and a and a right back playing way so far out of position. Now, for me, it it it's game over for him, but he's not going to get sacked, and that that's the that's the sad thing. We're going to see we're going to see this club go at this rate because there's absolutely nothing in this team there's no winners there's no one who wants to know they don't care that if they go down because they're picking up a paycheck every, at, at the end of the month end of the week do you know what I mean it, it, it's that kind of situation now where it's us against them and I, 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 I'm, I'm out of it you know what I mean I'm, I'm, I'm done with Everton you have fucking wound me up to the point of can I be asked? no can you be asked? then the answer is exactly the same no so if the fans can't be bothered why should the fucking players be? because they're giving us you're giving us nothing you know the, the last the last home game was Arsenal and where was that fight? where's that been? that was the, that was gone against Palace and it's gone again today Where's this, where's, the te- where's this team showing up and actually putting any kind of effort in? Why is it taking us to go 2 0 down to start, like, oh, I'm going to be the best actually do something here? Sorted Everton. I'm pissed off with you, and no, it's got to fucking change. And it's got to, it's got to start at the top. Again, if this is the whole 27 minutes for 27 years kind of thing that that's uh, you know that's taking a, a, a big chunk of people's time and whatever there's got to be a fucking change and it's got to be quick and it's got to be decisive because the way things are now we are getting past Hull then we've got Leicester next week and Leicester, Leicester are kicking on a little bit now again 
and it's going to get worse until he either stops playing with his ego and stop being such a fucking egomaniac or just fucking go and I'd sooner you just fucking walk out the door so for me Rafa Benitez and I'm, uh, I'm just disgusting myself by saying his first name Benitez get out so let me know what you think in the comments I'm, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry I had to do a video like this it, it's fucking horrible it, it's the worst thing in the world to have to talk about Everton when we're shit but we've been shit for so long, so I might as well just carry it on. So, till then, up the fucking toffees, Colin Chong, Benitez out.